Hello everyone and welcome. If you are new to my channel, you're welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome. Um, we're going to be making a lovely. There's this some. Um, this is this is a pattern for you. I'm a princess that. If you don't know how to make an I'm a princess that by right now, check my. I have a video for it. Um, check my my previous video. I'll link it on the description box so you get to watch it. Okay, I've actually draft out my my pattern. I already have the back pattern. I just decided to do a new one. I have the front pattern. I have my body block, but I decided to do a new one for just this tutorial. Um, so if you have your basic body block already, just all you need to do is just place it on a fresh pattern and trace it out. So let's. Um, so now I have to cut out we we'll just go into it because I don't want the um, video to be too long yeah my name is a former let me introduce myself for those that don't know my name my name is a former um, I'm busy Abuja, Nigeria. Yeah. For now, who knows? I might move. <laughs> okay. Let's have. Added a side allowance, or you can skip it. I could always add it when I'm cutting out. So I've added my shoulder allowance, the same allowance on the down. So the only place when we were doing, when we was cutting to the fabric that we put add allowance is here, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. In case you don't know that. So now let's um let's close our backs. I'm a boss that. It's like a symmetric um, neckline. it on Pinterest and I liked it. You'll be needing your full body um block. You're cutting you know normally if it's just normal um this thing you cut maybe just to maximize and um, minimize your waste for paper you just use real size but we're needing a full side because of the we have to open it to so the excess you have instead of having excess here you just cut it out it's better you have excess than it's shorter that was what this this thing is for so i'm going to trim it out this I've added my side allowance though so, let's see this is my actual this is the extra allowance so let's apply it for this style you can actually do it directly on your fabric 
what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to notch it a little bit open just for ease. If I have to seal this, and I might have to go off camera because God help me, I'm the only really one here. <laughs> so. I'm using my teeth, I have scissors, but <laughs> it's just easy. <laughs> okay, see that was how I notched it open so that I can seal this. But you see, I have to go off, but you see what I'm doing already. This is going to take a while, so just if you have yours ready, if you have someone to help you out, that's good. If you don't, just take your time. Take your time and just comb it around like so. Sorry, it's easy for me to use my my teeth. Well, use your scissors to this. Then the right way. <laughs> okay. I'll not show you because I show you, but it's going to be. Try your way around it anyways, just seal it, seal it up. That's what we need. So I'm going to go off camera. When I'm done, I'll show you because <laughs> with, um okay, I'm done. I'm done gluing this. Please don't don't mind the rough work. It was stressful. Um I, I later I, I realized that um I could actually have just glued only one side that I needed like my it's going to be falling on the left side of the of the dress so this is it it's falling on this side so i could have just glued only here and leave you the way the pattern the the, the design it's going i don't actually need it but just for the tutorial purpose because it was stressful i was the only one so from here you can see what I'm doing. I hope you're seeing me. So from here, this is my seam allowance. It's not needed. So from the main um, neck line, I'm coming down by 2.5. Okay. 2.5. Should I use 3? 2.5. From this 2.5, I'm going to connect it to my chest line here. So what I, I'm going to do is get to freestyle it. So this point, then from this place, going to sort of connect it you can go as deep as you want let me see we have 0 0.5 here already so let me see maybe your curve can start from six seven depend on how deep you want it but i'm using this 6.5 here so I'll connect it. Like so. I can see what I'm doing. Like so. 
So this is it. So this is it. But the thing is, you see here it's it passed through the 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 seam line for your princess um that. But depending on who you're making it for, if you don't want it to go in too much, you don't want it to reveal too much, all you need to do is just from your seam line, just come like one inch, the 1.5 in, then you see this connection that went this way. The only thing is, it's going to come like this. Are you seeing it? I'm going to make it a bit curvy like this. Then you take it this way. That is, if you don't want it too deep, depending on what you are doing. So, I just did that for tutorial purpose. I have a, I have a. Um, I have a, I don't know if the pattern is I can still find, I think there was a pattern for it before, but I will check. Because I've made it before, not for tutorial purpose though, but it didn't go this deep. Then when I saw this, I was like, when I saw this online, I was like, wow. So I could try this. So that's how this came about. So I'm going to cut out so we see the finish and look. Then we cut in our fabric. Actually, there's nothing new. It's just some um, little twists to everything. Everything we know, <laughs> I think, has been in existence. Like most things, uh, just a little twist to this fashion thing, you know. They've all been existing before. So. If I can still find the pattern, so this is it. You can want it if you're comfortable for your opening to be at the right side of your of your cloth. Please feel free to do so. This is going to be on left side. There's no particular order to it. If you want it, if you're comfortable. Having your opening on the left side, I will do so. On the right side, I will do so. So this is the left one. You see. So now let's let's remove all this paper tape. This tape. This was work. I'm telling you. If not decide the side you want, just see one side because if you don't have someone to help you, like me, you won't find it funny. It took me about close to 20 to 30 minutes to seal this. <laughs> so I didn't record it because the struggle was real. <laughs> So this is what we have. This piece got up. I have to fix it. So this is my angle region. So this is what we have. See, I was struggling with it. This is what we have. So just cut out. I will place it in the fabric and will cut it.
It wasn't easy. <laughs> really, it wasn't easy. <laughs> but it was worth it. Right? Yeah. Getting it right, no matter the process, is worth it. It's always worth it. So. We have arrived to our final destination after the long. <laughs> Okay. Oh, this is messy. Oh. So take our time to notch. There will no places to notch. Then we put on the underboards. And let's cut, place your fabric and cut it out. Let me clear the place. So this is what we have. Take notes. So the same way you cut out your lining, you just face your lining to the right side of the fabric because I cut on the right side. So, so I've gone ahead to cut out my fabric. I placed my pattern on my fabric. So I, I cut it right side and I placed the pattern on the right side of the fabric and I cut it. Now, I've cut out my interface. I've cut out my part and my interface. I add my interface on the fabric himself. If you want to put it on the lining, please feel free to do so. This is how I like my interface place. Most times I even put both in the lining and and um, the fabric. I don't, I don't have much left. You see the way I pinned my, my lining. I don't want to miss them. So go ahead and do that. When cutting your your um interface, especially for this one that has this place, you make sure it doesn't get to the upper region of it. So let's iron and we'll go and stitch it and then we'll come back. So this is what we have here. I've ironed my interface. So I'm placing the line like I don't want it to miss. Just have to because of the way it's patterned. So that we don't I don't have any error. So now we're going to take it to the machine and we'll sew it. You place your make sure your underboss is notched so you can just place it so round and this you place it. Then we'll come back and see, we'll see the final look. So let's go to the sewing machine. This is the back piece. I didn't add interface for the back. So this is the back piece. I only added interface to the front piece. So 
now let's let's do it um i've gone ahead to i've given it a good press the part and the interface please when you when you're sewing your line be very careful you have to check place it right then sew because this this can be very tricky this class this is not too um, beginner friendly so you just have to take your time to, to do it it's, so now i'm going to go to the machine match it round match it i've sewn the back i'm, I'm going to put uh, a waist that for the back and so let's see and we'll see the end result i will not put hand on sleeve for it for now i don't i don't know what i might decide to put a peplum to it or a skirt that's to make it a dress i don't know yet but let's just get on to it we'll see the final look here we are done with the cloth the the top I just I I'm yet to decide um, what I'm making with it. So if it's gonna be maybe a dress, that means I'm I'm putting the skirt part of it. Maybe I'll turn it to a peplum top. That would decide whatever I did I do with it. That would decide the kind of sleeve that it's going to have. And it's looking so nice. So let me know in the comment section when you try this. And if you have any question, please drop your questions. Okay, thank you. Wow.